you know, we start to see that patients who have, let's, let's take, um, breast implant illness, patients who have, uh, breast implants that develop an inflammatory reaction. So, you know, the, the term that's being used is BII or breast implant illness. Um, I believe it's MCAS and there's some evidence to support that. And we have some, we have an amazing, um, uh, uh, plastic surgeon in Australia who is on my podcast, Dr. Mm. Uh, Ava Naji, who um, really has now made it her like life's work to help patients with breast implant illness. And, and she is finding uh, mast cells in the tissue. She's starting to understand the role of uh, implants, these foreign, this foreign body in the body and causing the mast cells to um, activate. Um, so sometimes though, you, rele- you remove that trigger, you remove the implant, and now the the mast cells have an opportunity to calm down, to mm-hmm. to stop releasing uh, chemicals, right? And sometimes that's it, right? That's what what the body needed, and the body resets. But sometimes, they what I see a lot is that patients get better, and then all of a sudden they start to get worse again. And I'm not saying this is across the board. This is a mm-hmm. this is a subset I'm talking about. And they get worse again, and we start to look at okay, there must be some other trigger. So the implant was a big trigger. We took that out, but there must be something else there that now is becoming more obvious. 